Hi there. We're here in the Review Tube studio in downtown Rochester, and I have the privilege of talking to Amir Bayana today about the Rochester Summer Soul Music Festival, a 25-year institution, and this is the 25th anniversary. Indeed. I understand you were born the year that the festival started. From 1995 to 2020. That's great. Here, yes. And your company, you're the president of Experience Live with That's an correct. X. That's correct. We're working with your father, Varick, on the project. That's very cool. And what a great institution for the city. We've gotten the privilege to talk to Mayor Johnson about the beginning of the festival, talk to Mayor Lovely Warren about her continued support and her vision for the music festival. How did you get involved in, and what are your memories of the Rochester Summer Soul Music Festival? So Rochester, the city itself, is very close to my heart. My father being from here and having a lot of family from here, it's been a second home. So traveling here since a young boy to attending the first Rochester Music Festival, my first one in 2017, right after I had graduated college. So came here, had the opportunity to feel the vibe, Bobby Brown performed, Big Daddy Kane was on stage. So it was automatically something that I knew was special. Wow. And you know, being able to meet Mayor Lovely Warren and just see the evolution of both the festival itself over the years, but also the involvement of Experience Live in our partnership has been amazing. So seeing Experience Live come on board in 2018, me being an artist and having the opportunity to actually perform in 2018 and then coming officially on board as uh, executive in 2019 of, for the business, this has been a full circle opportunity. It's been amazing. Wow, that's exciting. And your background, your Wharton guy. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. So you get to marry business with entertainment mm -hmm. and culture and the arts. I think that's a thing. fabulous thing. And the impact it has on the community is, is profound. Absolutely. Uh, from the beginning of Mayor Johnson's vision of bringing everyone together in a festival, uh, because downtown was not in a good place then. I mean, uh, we're on Main Street right now. It looks fantastic. It's mm -hmm. been built up, CGI, other companies have moved in. Absolutely. But it was back then, it was a wasteland. And I think that fest helped to spawn some of the other ones, the Rochester, CGI Rochester Jazz Fest, Party in the Park, mm -hmm. these other music festivals. What do you think about the impact that music and these kinds of festivals has on the community? I think it's a healing factor. I think it's a component that we can all relate to. And I remember Lisa Bowers, uh, president of the WNBA, I got the chance to hear her speak, and she said that the two universal languages were music and sport. So just knowing that music can be that unifier for people, I think is amazing. And knowing the history of Rochester, these people have done amazing things to contribute to our nation, to contribute to the world. So knowing that this is such a special city, we have to continue to show that love to it and continue to reinvest in it. So that's what we're looking forward to doing all 2020s uh, and, you know, up, up and away. I love it. Rochester's a music city. Eastman it School is. of Music, all those festivals and lots of bands use the Rochester Music Festival as a spring port. Mm -hmm. uh, I was talking earlier with someone who had seen Alicia Keys yes. here and before she was Alicia Keys. Mm -hmm. So it's an opportunity to see acts before they get big, some that are currently big, and mm -hmm. be able to say, hey, I saw them back when. It's a pretty cool thing. Indeed, indeed. And just to be able to include myself in that narrative a little bit as an artist is an amazing thing. Again, you mentioned Alicia Keys, even knowing the history of Missy Elliott and knowing how she was just really working in Rochester very heavily at the beginning of her career and alongside Timbaland. So a lot of these just legends, Rochester native tweet as well, just being a big part of this musical family, this musical community. So me, again, discovering my love for music in Rochester when I was about eight years old, you know, just here visiting family and then having these full circle moments, being able to perform in front of family, gain new fans, but also have that passion for the business because the business passion is, you know, always been there right with the art of the culture. So that, that's, that's, that's the goal. So the, the University of Penn has done you well. Indeed. So you can bring these things together, the business, the community, the sponsors, the music acts. I can't wait to go, man. I'm excited. It's going to be a great time. Let's do it. Yes, Thanks sir. for joining us. Appreciate Samir. you. Yes, sir.